Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool. Liquid butane. Butane is normally a gas at room temperature. But, as you may be able to hear in the video, there's definitely liquid in there. And indeed, it can be liquid at, it can be liquid at higher temperatures, as long as the pressure is higher. Just like how water under a vacuum will boil at room temperature because the pressure is lower, the reverse is also true. As that when the pressure is higher, the boiling point will also be higher. In the case of this butane in this glass cologne bottle, this has been this like this for two weeks or so as well. Nothing's leaked, which is pretty cool. Because whatever was in it before was flammable cologne, so it was designed to hold designed to stop leaks. Also, you can do it with the soda bottle as well, but anyway. As the butane, once you put the liquid butane in there and screw on the lid, it will start to boil as the temperature increases. But since there's nowhere for the gas to go, the pressure increases in the container. And as the pressure increases, the boiling point of the liquid butane increases until its boiling point hits room temperature from its own pressure. Which means that you can store it like this. They do the same for propane as well, but that takes much higher pressure because propane boils at minus 44 Fahrenheit or somewhere around there. By the way, the, minus, um, the 30 degrees is Fahrenheit, not Celsius. It's like minus 0.5 Celsius for those of you using the Celsius scale. And this soda bottle, amazing, a soda bottle can hold liquid butane. I've been trying to cool it down so I can transfer it. I'm going to be putting it into a new soda bottle here just for sake of the video. What's in there here to keep it cold is a mixture of salt, ice, and water. Probably can't see the thermometer, but it's reading about 10 or 15 degrees, an optimal an optimal mixture can actually get as low as zero degrees with regular salt. That's where the Fahrenheit zero came from, the, which is the freezing point of brine, a mixture of salt and ice. And I can use this to I can use this to achieve cooler temperatures than 32. So I'm going to open this bottle, and you're going to hear a. Now that butane is boiling, also it smells really bad. And it has just been transferred into this, into the cup. That aluminum cup, it's just a um, shot glass, I actually cast it at myself anyway. Also, just to show you just the, that it really is butane, here I'll move this closer so you guys can see. If you heard that, that was liquid butane coming out of the conta this container. And I'll show you just to, I'll show you up to the close in the camera that there definitely is liquid in there. That's liquid butane. Now this stuff will give you frostbite, unfortunately. But it'd have to be on your skin for at least a few seconds, and it boils away very quickly. You can see this is starting to boil here, so I have to be quick with this, because this mixture is the ice is melting in here. I'm going to use a high-tech device called a funnel to transfer this stuff. Or I'll adjust the camera.
wicked butane. Into the bottle. Now, screw on the lid. Make sure it's tight. And there, it is in the bottle. Stable under its own pressure. It is in liquid state. It may not look like much, but that amount of butane could burn quite a bit of could burn quite a bit of stuff. Now I'll show you guys again. As I said, I was going to. Wait a minute. I'll show you guys again this and the liquid that's in there. Liquid butane. <laughs> 